how's it going? I'm Isla Golden and welcome to my vlog. Alright, okay, so on the second part of our little mini series talking about my various previous and current projects, um, we are going to be looking at the Blood, Friendship and Marriage series. So this is the other series that has a book out. Um, this was actually the first book that I published through Lulu, so the first book I ever published. <laughs> um, <clears throat> admittedly, the series still needs a lot of work, some of it to sort of bring it up to my current timeline uh, multiverse standards, uh, some of it to bring it up to my current writing standards um, and various things like that. I mean, my writing style hasn't hasn't shifted majorly, but it's become more refined um, in the eight plus years since um, Blood, Friendship and Marriage actually went live on Lulu. Um, it's definitely a series, uh, Time Forgets is, is the name of the first book, I should say, uh, Blood, Friendship and Marriage is the name of the, the series. Um, it is I believe it's a six part series in total, so the fact that there's only one book out at the moment. <laughs> um, and again, it sort of had the same or similar sort of issues to um, the, the Start of the Realms and Reality series, in that I didn't really know how to get knowledge of the book out there. Um, I also wasn't really working at times, so I didn't really have a lot of funds or anything behind me to sign that kind of, you know, push things a little bit further. Um, and as I said, you know, my skills as a writer were a lot less refined back then, so there is definitely a lot I can do to uh, improve it before putting out a second edition. And again, that's, that's on my to-do list. Um, but with a lot of these, you know, the, the to-do list I do have, for the, the Blood, Friendship and Marriage series and for the Realms and Reality series, it's kind of more of a case of, I need the time to do them. I need the time to actually sort of sit down and sort of focus on it. And whilst I'm sort of trying to establish my writing career, whilst maintaining a semi full-time job, <laughs> and I say semi full-time uh, more because the hours I work, they're sort of closer to full-time hours, and more than part-time hours so it's sort of a full-time job but I'm not technically working full-time hours because of my health um so I'm sort of a you could either say that I am a part-time uh I have part-time hours but like at the higher end of part-time hours or that I've got a low full-time hour job <laughs> but yeah between you know having to do that and, and you know actually having to make a living for myself and not being yet established as, as an author and as, as a writer and not sort of earning enough money off of that to not have to have a second job, um, tackling what we're all, you know, what is going to be like a major upheaval and, and, and project like that is kind of, yeah, I'd rather sort of progress forward where I'm sort of still writing my, my greater series and my longer series, but actually focusing more on singular books or books that might be like a companion to other books um, but aren't necessarily a series so you don't necessarily need all of them out there and as a reader you don't necessarily need to read all of them to sort of understand that the whole story because singular books are easier to turn around in a much shorter amount of time um, if you actually put your focus in and your mind into it whereas with a series you've got to constantly be thinking, especially a series where you've already written all the books, you've got to be thinking about the series as, as a whole, and you've got to be very focused on and very mindful of, you know, where the series is progressing, where the series is going, and it's a lot of work. Um, so I, I think the sort of plan with, with Time Forget for getting that sort of revamped and, and rejigged and, and out there again, it's sort of... Yes, it'd be something that'd be nice to, to get done at some point in the near future, but it's more likely to be something that I will tackle once I establish myself as an author and once I started earning a proper amount of money off of my writing, because then I, I'll sort of know that I've got an audience there and, and yes, okay, I, I know I've got a couple of books out there that are not necessarily up to the standard that I would want them to be, but that doesn't mean they're not good stories. <laughs> That doesn't mean there's not something to them if you can sort of look past the sort of the rough edges and you know knowing that 
um, it, 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 it helps. <laughs> In my mind, it, it helps. <laughs> um, and so, uh, Blood Pledge from the Marriage Series um, actually happened as part of the historical timeline. Um, I think I've mentioned to, to uh, mention in various blog, blogs before um, that there is a the, the circle of six, uh, which is six realities, which are sort of disconnected from all the other realities. And the Blood Pledge from the Marriage Series covers the events in one of those realities that leads up to, to the disconnection um, and the events are sort of very similar in all the other realities so you only really need one version of it um, although technically there are two versions of it that you can <laughs> you can read <laughs> or will eventually be able to read because you do get a sort of version of it in the tale saga as well just remembering the tale saga my wonderful fanfic link in the description always um, is set within the circle of six as well so you, you do get another version of it there which is very similar and, and that it was a good way of sort of going when I started writing the blood pressure and marriage series okay what are the sort of key points that need to sort of be the same what the character which characters need to sort of be involved and sort of be there in, in, in their various incarnations um to make it all makes sense across the, the, the circle of six and you know it's in, in terms of um, establishing my multiverse I think that was one of the sort of original ways in which I realised I was working with a multiverse opposed to working with sort of like a singular reality and, and all everything sort of happening in a singular reality it was sort of when I sort of started sitting down and writing about the friendship and marriage series that I realised no actually that this is set in a slightly alternate version to the version that appears in, in the Tale Saga, in, yeah. So, <laughs> um, yeah, in, in those sorts of, sorts of terms, uh, the Blood Pressure Marriage series is is important to the, the, the history of the Circle of Six. Um, and since quite a few of my stories sort of happen in and around and connected to the Circle of Six, it's important to sort of establish that that sort of key event. Um, time, time to get, which is the first book. Uh, definitely sort of kicks off that storyline and, and introduces you to the the key sort of players and the key sort of roles and yeah it's 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 a good book from what I can remember um, but like I said it it has very rough around the edges it's very rough around the edges now when when I sort of look back on it and compare it to how I write now and my writing style now and the things that I do now that I'm you know the, the things I used to do then that I don't do anymore and it's kind of like yeah it, it needs work it's still a good story for what it is um but it could be so much better um both in terms of style and and, and various other bits and pieces that I could add or reorganize or whatever um so yeah it, it's it's one of those it's one of those as I said I consider it to be a more successful book <laughs> <laughs> even though it really isn't, um, then uh, Zero Conformity, which is the first first book in the Realms of Reality series, and that's literally because, you know, I had so much more control over how much it, it was priced at, and the cover, although I, I would definitely look to redo the cover on that one <laughs> when I came to, when I come to sort of um, rejigging and revamping the, the, the series as a whole. Um, but yeah, it, it, I feel, for me, much happier with it, even though I know it's a much rougher uh, final product than it should be, especially a much rougher final product compared to, to Zero Conformity in, in, in terms of the level of ed editing and, and the style and, and stuff like that. So on the one hand, I don't feel like I should be as proud of it <laughs> as I am, but I don't sweep it under the rug like I do with um, Zero Conformity. In, in it. It does literally come down to you know the fact that I had much more control over it. I had much more say over how much it was going to be priced at, and you know the the, the fact that you know it's in my mind better for the more control that I've had. Um, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not saying that you know other people's input isn't important, but being priced out of the market and not getting a book uh, noticed because you don't know how to advertise it 
two completely different, you know, war games. And you can be proud of both of the books on their individual level, but when you feel like you failed something because of reasons that were within your control, it makes you feel less bad when you failed something because of things that were completely out of your control. Um, even though you knew that, you know, if, if you had your say, and you, it could have been so much better and you just weren't listened to. Um, so, yeah, this is another one which has ended up being very complaining about <laughs> about what happened to uh, uh, Zero Conformity rather than necessarily being strictly about the Blood Branch of the Marriage series. But I think it's some kind of important to sort of do these two sort of together in, in one blog after the other and, and sort of show the relationship between these two books because um, the, the series is, the, they're both good series. I, both, I want to get both of these series as, better polished and out there properly at some point, you know, once once I'm sort of in the swing of, of being an actual writer <laughs> and doing it for a living. And then, you know, I will put the time aside and I will get them sorted and I will get them done. Um, but as it is, you know, right now, I'm, I'm still proud of, of how they are and, and where they are now. And they have it such like an in, interconnected kind of history and interconnected way of me thinking about them and, and so it's been kind of important to sort of talk about them together uh, even though I've sort of done it over two separate parts and, and sort of tackled the two different issues with it it's still you know very much important to me that I, I you know relate the fact that they were my first two attempts um, and after these two attempts I you know due to various other things going on and due to being a little bit disheartened did take a step back from everything for a while and then, you know i'm now in the sort of stage of going okay i know where that went wrong i know you know what happened back then and i can't change what happened back then but i can learn from what happened back then and going forward i've got to remember what went on and avoid the same mistakes doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be any more successful at it, but there we go. <laughs> All right, I think I've successfully concluded this uh, <laughs> this little talk about how uh, God friendship and marriage and uh, zero conformity or realms and reality series is are sort of similar in their different ways of failing. <laughs> I'm not sure that's initially what I was going for when I sort of set out to do the, the start of this, but that's what it's ended up being. Okay. So this is not the end of the Little Me series. I, there are a few more books or series that I do definitely want to talk about uh, before we're done with the Little Mini series. Um, so to continue with it next time, we are going to be looking at my current project, which is more than likely going to end up a series just based on how long it is so <laughs> far. Um, and that is Amphart. So I hope you found this one sort of interesting. I know it's sort of been more of a second part to the last vlog um, than really sort of a standalone one. But in the case of both of these series, it's been a, a little while since I've properly looked at them. So although I, I know what they're about, for me, I think more of everything that went on around uh, trying to get those books out there than I do necessarily with the stories. So maybe at some point in the future I will come back and I will talk about these series in proper and actually talk about the series. But I think I need to be editing the series in order to do that because that's when I get more excited and, and more, okay, oh my god, this is what it's about. Oh. <laughs> um, these are all the characters and it's so fun and exciting. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, Anyway, I hope you guys have found this one interesting and I will see you next time. See ya. <laughs>